No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, this is Charles from No Film School. I'm here at NAB Show 2017 at the Airy booth, and I'm going to talk to Michael about the new Sky Panels. They just had a firmware update today. They've got a whole bunch of new features, and we're going to go over all the cool stuff they do. Yeah, so thanks for coming. So this is, uh, we've got firmware 3.0 on the Sky Panel here. It's the third major release of uh, the firmware since we launched the Sky Panel, and we've got 10 really uh, amazing new features packed into it. So this is a, it's an LED fixture. It's an ultra bright LED fixture that's fully tunable, which means that you can tune it from 2800 to 10,000 degrees Kelvin, plus or minus green correction. You have hue and saturation control as well, so that means you could get vibrant colors and then change the saturation of those colors. So we have different gels pre-programmed into the fixture that you could scroll through and, and So select. you could say like, I want a Roscoe straw, and they can put Roscoe straw right on the unit. You bet. With math. That's right, we have uh, 318 gels pre-programmed into the fixture. So the first major feature in 3.0 is lighting effects. So we have 12 pre-programmed lighting effects in the fixture, and you can actually change some of the parameters of those effects if you'd like. We have candle, clouds passing, club lights, color chase, cop car, fire, fireworks, uh, light strobe, lightning, paparazzi, pulsing, and television. The other cool thing is that uh, with the encoder on the back, which is clickable, I could pause the effect and then I could trigger the effect. So if I you know, want to trigger uh, a lightning uh, strike on a particular time, I just click the encoder and there you have your lightning strike. We also added ArtNet, which is a way of communicating DMX over Ethernet protocol. Uh, and in new in 3.0, we added SACN, which is another way of communicating over Ethernet protocol, but it's more of a standard. Uh, a lot of the professional console manufacturers use it. Um, so we have a lot of ways of communicating with it, and we have a lot of different DMX protocols for the different ways of controlling the color. And we have what we call the SkyPanel web server. And what that is, basically the SkyPanel is a networking device. So you can connect this to a, a network, Take the IP address of the fixture, enter it into any web browser, whether it be on your PC or, or your iPad, and it will. the Sky Panel actually generates a web page, and through that web page, you could control all of the settings of the Sky Panel. We do also have the ability to control multiple Sky Panels with uh, an ALSM. So our ALSM is our Area Lighting Service Manager, a piece of hardware that you could actually batch change a lot of fixtures. So to, you know, select multiple fixtures and change it that way. So there's two other features that I got to mention to you because they're really cool. One of them is uh, what we call source matching. So of course there's lots of sources in the world around us that we might want to match when we're on a film set. Uh, a good example that I always use is something like a sodium vapor light if you're shooting on the street. So instead of having to dial through all the color uh, uh, changes to kind of figure out what that color is, we've actually measured all 46 different light sources in the world around us and program those spectrum into the sky panel so you get very precise matches of those colors. Something that our customers really request a lot is a high speed mode. So we have a high speed mode where if you activate the high speed mode, you could basically shoot at any frame rate and any shutter angle. So we've tested it up to 25,000 frames per second and at down to two degrees shutter angle with no flicker and no roll bars. So typically the sky panel is usually good in its normal mode up to about 200 frames per second. You're pretty safe. Uh, at any of those frames in between. But if people really need to shoot high frame rates, you could snap it into high uh, speed mode, and now you have a uh, rock solid image at any frame rate, any shutter angle. Michael went over a bunch of really great upgrades to the sky panel here, which is a really popular light on a variety of sets, but if you need to mimic or match an identical source, or if you're trying to do cop cars or lightning, this seems like a real panel option to do it with. So, Michael, yeah, thank you so update much. As well. So it's a free update. You can just download it from our website, install it in a sky panel that you already have, and you're set to go. All right. So if you already own one, look out for that update, or if you're going to rent one, make sure they're up to the 3.0 firmware.